connotations of bad memories, and so um, you would have to also buy a bunch of land north. Um, and so we think that's problematic. The other option would be a new facility, a new location, and the question is, would it be a one story, one level, or a second level? And so that de determines what size will it be. 45 acres we need, or 25 acres, um, depending on that. And that's really for the county, county officials to figure out, future architects to figure out. Um, and so I think right now, uh, our recommendation was that there would be a site task force to select the location and also a transparency and accountability task force um, to not repeat the problems that happened 30 years ago. We heard from the community that people are still angry about how that happened 30 years ago and that's why our recommendation would there be a, a construction oversight task force to make sure that bidding process that construction process is transparent. And this isn't rocket science. This works with maps. We've built huge convention centers, uh, huge arenas with this kind of citizen oversight. And so we're just taking that model and applying it. Really what should have been in 30 years ago, we're applying that now to not have that same mistake. Have a good day. Have a good day. Thank you. County commissioners, and then I, I suspect whatever the architects, um, they will, you know, if the county commissioners want to go out to the voters, it's up to them to put this bond on this election um, for the voters to consider. And so we think during that process, they might make a recommendation as to whether to go 45 acres or 25 acres. Um, and then they bid that out to the public, and you have construction uh, architects and others that. Uh, bid on it it's all through a public process and then that architect probably will have something to say um, if the site hasn't been selected yet. So the commissioners have kind of a final say on this. We know Correct. when we have a timeline of when they may start constructing? Well we um, they have to put the um, they have to call for the election which is a legal term and I believe that's a 60 or 90 day time frame um, which the vote we would anticipate would be sometime in April um, so we anticipate that in December or early January, the commissioners would have to make a final decision on this. These are just recommendations, and they're the voting body that actually implements um, that call for the public. No, I just, um, the, the progress we've made is tremendous from when the count was over 2,500, 2,600, um, you know, the overcrowding that has been there chronically, we have been able to draw that down because of the work with groups like the district attorney, the public defender, the judiciary. And so we continue to need their help if we're going to keep it there and keep pushing it lower so we're ready when Max 4 comes along to utilize these diversionary options. And so, again, this isn't an either or. We've got to build the new structurally sound humane constitutional facility while we also push forward on mental health alternatives, addiction alternatives. And so there's really not an either or, it's a both and um, if we want to continue the public safety work in our community. Sure. Yes, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. No, it's fine. If you're pregnant, I can do it. Um, you talked a lot about diversion and are we good? Take two. I think I think the citizen is about just what I said in that the diversionary playgrounds the ability to um, the lateral ability it gives us within that space to get people where they need to go. You know, those resources are very important. And oftentimes, and I truly believe this, I believe in law enforcement, I believe you can be hard on crime. 
Well, guess what? Not everything's hard crime, and sometimes people are suffering from mental health. Everyone knows that that place is ultimately the largest mental health facility in our county right now. So how can we still lock up bad people when these mental health people get introduced? We can get them the resources they need. So now, what I believe is law enforcement being the foundation. When people, the foundation comes, we can get you the resources you need to get you back on track, get you back right to life. Um, and I think just an all-encompassing facility really consolidates things for people. It makes it easy. All the players are involved. And how can how can you lose with that? I, I'm a team guy. I played team sports my entire life. So I believe if we go forward together, we can't lose. If we're separated and split up, we make it hard on people. People fall through the cracks. And oftentimes, you know, everybody's in the same place. All the resources are there. Law enforcement's working with diversion. Diversions are working with the courts. Now people are getting educated. Court dates aren't missed, fines and fees, people aren't late to court and things like that. And we can get a lot of positive outcomes that we desperately need. And so I think it's possible all the way around. Um, just to make sure I'm understanding this, so this would go to the commissioners and then it would definitely be a vote of the people, or was that depending on what option? And, and, and that's, that's how I understand it. I believe our vote was the recommendation. Here is what the jail trust would like. And we send that to the Board of County Commissioners and then they have the final say on whether we go forward or not. Um, so it, it's really, it's really up to them. Thank you. Thank you, sir.